All right, in this example, we're going to go about trying to find all the zeros of, of the polynomial, in this case, x cubed plus x squared minus 10x plus 8. So a couple things here. Um, to get started, um, you know, basically our first goal is to try to find a zero. So what I'm going to do is start by listing the possible rational zeros. Because I'm not sure which one, uh, I'm not sure what, what the zeros are. So remember, we look at factors of the constant. So if we look at factors of 8, we would get 1, 2, 4, and 8. If we look at factors of the leading coefficient, that's just, well, the, the factors of 1 are just 1. And then it says the possible rational zeros would either be positive, positive negative 1 over 1, positive negative um, 2, positive negative 4, or positive or negative 8. So at this point, what I'm going to use is the remainder theorem, because if we plug, remember if f of a, if we plug some number into our function and we get 0 out, that tells us that x minus a is a factor. Okay, well this is where it gets tedious because we have, you know, definitely quite a few to pick from. We've got 8, you know, potential rational zeros plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8. So at this point, there's not really much to do except to sort of brute force start checking a couple and hopefully you'll run into one. So I usually start with, uh, you, mo you know, if, if one is a candidate, I, I always try that one first. So in this case, um, if we plug 1 into our function, okay, we would get, well, 1 cubed plus 1 squared minus 10 times 1, which would be 10 plus 8. Well, 1 plus 1 is 2. We've got 2 minus uh, 10 plus 8. 2 minus 10 is negative 8. And negative 8 plus 8, hey, that's 0, which is good because now we know that, um, in this case, x minus 1 is a factor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do long division. I'm going to take uh, my original polynomial x cubed plus x squared minus 10x plus 8, and I'm going to divide it by x minus 1. And I'm, I'm going to do that using synthetic division. Okay, so I'm going to put the coefficients down here, positive 1, positive 1, negative 10, positive 8. We said x minus 1 is a factor, so we're going to use 1 on the outside. And then we drop down our first number, we multiply, well 1 times 1 is 2, we add 1 plus 1 is, uh, well, let's see, we drop our 1 down, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, negative 10 plus 2 is going to be negative 8, and then negative 8 uh, times 1 is negative 8, and if we add, we get our remainder of 0. Since we started with something cubed, this will be our x squared term, our x term, and our constant. So what that means is, it says x cubed plus x squared minus 10x plus 8. It says we can factor that as x minus 1 times x squared plus 2x minus 8. Okay, and now we're in business because I think this last, uh, this last factor is a nice quadratic factor, and I think that's going to factor without too much trouble. So to get the x squared, we'll need, to, you know, x and a x. Two numbers that multiply to negative 8 but add up to positive 2. I think we can use, um, let's see, how about positive 4 and negative 2. So now we have it factored. And if we set this polynomial equal to 0, again, that's what we're trying to do after all, is find the zeros. Well, then we just set each factor equal to 0. If we set x minus 1 equal to 0, we would add 1 and get x equals 1 as one of our zeros. Um, x plus 4 equals to 0, we would get x equals negative 4 as a 0. If we set x minus 2 equal to 0, we would add 2 and get x equals 2 as our other 0.